Hey there, Lick and Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff, in which I would like to teach you a really nice G minor riff. Okay, it's in G minor, but it's an open G tuning. Okay, so the tuning is G major, but the riff is in G minor. So you can noodle around with it, and you can experiment, and I'm gonna show you how. It's a really nice uh, finger style riff. So. Um, Tune your guitar to open G, open G being D, G, D, G, B, D, okay? D, G, D, G, B, D, okay? And you put uh, two fingers on the third fret on strings two and three. Now, I put um, these two fingers, okay? The third and fourth fingers, okay? The little finger and the third finger, the ring finger, on three and three on strings two and three, okay? Now, I know that this creates a unison, okay? The, the D note here is the same as the D note now on the second string, okay? But we're gonna play around with this, okay? Now, it's gonna have a moving bass note, but the riff itself has to do with this, okay? It's just one zero on the first string, okay? And you can... Okay, also lay down your finger on the first string on three. Okay, so that's the basis for our noodling. Now, the bass notes are obviously G. Okay, so you have the open fifth string. Okay, with the chord. And then you can do this. Okay, you can do three on the sixth string. Two on the sixth string. One the open sixth string, and the fifth string again. And you can also play three on the fifth string, okay, two on the fifth string, one on the fifth string, and the open fifth string again. So it's three, two, one, zero on the fifth and the sixth. Now the trick here is to get it to sound musical because if you just move the bass around, It's a little bit boring. So you need to create a counterpoint between the bass and the solo, okay? On one and uh, on uh, zero, one and three on the first string. That's the riff. So that's the noodling point, okay? So. Okay, you see? You create a, a sort of a riff. Okay? Any, any any lick that you like, okay? Any lick that you like. Okay, I'm playing strings two and three, then the open first string, and then one and zero. Okay, it doesn't have to be in order. You can do zero, one, three on the sixth string, and then the open fifth string. Okay, you can do. Okay, you can do it backwards. So. Okay, and then back again. So this is a really good noodling riff for finger style practice. Okay, so you can do it in Travis picking. Try different rhythms. Um, um, I was on on a waltz beat before. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So now let's try a funky one. So one, two, three, four. I'm still on. I'm still on waltz.
Okay, but it's still like the like the previous one. Um, so let me just count. One, two, three, four, one, into this but I just wanted to give you a different example uh, I'm still in waltz I'm still in hey, you can also move the three and three around if you like but that's beyond the riff that, that uh, the basic riff that I wanted to give you the experiment the, the the experimentation from now on is totally yours. So take it, experiment with it, make it your own, and I will see you in the next lesson. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me take a breath. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.